And we're back. It is time. <laughs> we have a few Spurs fans out hey. there in the audience. It is time for game number two. Miyagi <laughs> is hosting up Warhawk as we head for some search and destroy. Now, uh, crazy game one there. The Sovereign spawns. We all know what it's about. It. I saw a tweet from TP. He said, that's why you veto Sovereign every single time. Great. Well, I don't expect to see EG playing Sovereign Domination tomorrow, but right now we're going to see Curse Orange <laughs> taking on Envy when it comes to Warhawk, and this is a map I can't wait to watch study on. Yeah, study fantastic at Warhawk. Obviously, he's going to bring out that sniper rifle. He's so very precise, but at the same time, this is the same map. Curse Orange attaching Miyagi went 20 for one combined in six rounds against Phase Red. So you need to do exactly that once again in this round because they're, they're one of down to what I would say is a little bit of a mucky stuff, I guess. I, I don't know, but still, Envy playing very, very well. You can't write out Envy in such a story either. Their s &D is so solid that, you know, I, I said I think they're going to take this 3-0 and Envy's s &D is just that good that, you know, I think they may do it. We'll see what can happen, man. It's anyone's game. Are you. You said it would be Envy. I think Curse Orange has a lot in the tank still. So I want to see uh, what are these young guys going to do. Attach is going to get our first kill. And we're going to see some more action on this left side of the map. It looks like Parasite ready to stop this push here from Curse. Oh, let's have a look at Parasite. He's pretty heavily tagged for now, so he's going to have to try and stay alive. Can he get away? Mudlock's not able to get that kill. And Parasite's going to go up top. Mudlock oh. does get taken down. Parasite just using his COD smarts. Picks up that kill. It's going to level up the playing field as well. Three versus three. Playing them angles, man. Oh, Parasite, so clever. Picks up Saint as well. And that changes it to just the duo up. Attack and Miyagi in a two versus three. And now, down just, just like Miyagi. that, man. There they all go. Merc going to pick up two. Parasite picks up our first two. And nice 3v4 comeback here from this Envy squad. Yep. Good round for them. They needed it. Merc as well playing significantly better in this S&D than he was earlier on when he was playing against Optic and I was sat watching in the in the crowd and I was looking I was like it's a very untraditional Merc performance he's one of the most consistent Call of Duty players to, to grace the game in all game types of, of every Call of Duty so I really expect to see him on top form every single game I, I see him play so nice to see him kicking things off well. Merc with the Remington in hand trophy system as well as the hybrid scope you're gonna have Nameless leading the charge out in the middle street and they're gonna get very aggressive he's tagged up immediately Study now going to try and poke. Two players on that side. Meanwhile, the bomb carrier Merc fighting at the fence over at American. Two down already for Envy. Nice round for Mud Dog and the boys. And finally, Merc is going to hit that through the fence shot. Two versus three here. Merc has his teammate Parasite up. Combined, they have five kills. And I'm just looking at that mini map. Well, it looks as if he is going to back off a little bit. Yeah. Parasite's going to do the scouting over at that B site, uh -oh. see if it's clean. He did not see the player move right behind the tank as he looked away. That's Attach. Attach and Parasite so close to each other right now. But Attach has no idea that Parasite slipped out. You can see him just watching that center lane, expecting Parasite to come out at see, any th moment. This, this is interesting. Parasite's completely gone towards that B site. And Merc's actually pushing up to the A site with that bomb, so... Uh -oh. I'm not really sure what Parasite's game plan was there, but Merc just destroyed my dog. Parasite as well picks there up we attack. There we go. Two on one. Final 20 seconds. Parasite looking for the kill or the bomb plant. Saint, he will be chased down. And it pays off thanks to Merc's big one-on-one -on -one clutch. A little bit risky there from, uh, from Parasite. Splitting up from his teammate, but it worked out, as you said, quite nicely. Parasite now 4-0. Miyagi 0-2 at this point, so... Do you need to just try and uh, get themselves fire. back into the swing of things on this no, map? No, no, no. But you can see that the height fire. just isn't there, Pocket. You know, the, the height that they had when they were playing yeah, this yeah, phase, they were you know, getting yeah. themselves pumped up. I feel like yeah, yeah. they need to. I feel like Crosby just that game one, right now. The end of that game one just took all the wind out of their sails. Mud Dog tried to stand up and hype his team at the end, but I don't know, man. It's gonna. I think one major play could definitely get these guys excited again. Oh, absolutely. It's gonna come down to just individual. Brilliant play, as you said. Mud Dog does pick up one that was Merc. And that's a big kill as well, because Merc's four and two. If they can shut down Parasite as well, it is going to put them in a very good position. He's also four and oh, so he's yet to die in this search and destroy. Saints watching this left channel. Mud Dog isn't going to see anyone there just yet. Once again, that B site wide open. So, And I'm waiting for Attach to come up on the flank. He's still thinking there's players at B, but all of Envy has now rotated back to protect this A bomb site. 
Looks like Miyagi's gonna find one with that bomb. He's gonna dip out. And now will we see the push here from Parasite? Two on four situation for Envious. Parasite thought about it and then decided it wasn't the best idea. He's actually about to get sandwiched between cursed players. Gonna get shots everywhere. Parasite does pick up that kill. That was attached. It's gonna be more players. Washington picks up the second as well. All right, but making it, it a one-on-one -on -one for Nameless. And Nameless, he got a pick earlier on Muddog, I believe. So it's going to be Saint versus Nameless. Bomb down for Saint. See the way Nameless is going to play this. Very solid search and destroy play. And Saint checks the bomb. Nameless is going to get oh. that kill. And, and, you know, Saint tried to get fancy there. He went for a Hail Mary grenade and a one on one. You don't need what to is that. the chance you're going to find that player? Right. You, you don't need to really be checking that bomb in that situation either. It was just a little bit. Overzealous, I guess you could say. So here we go, 3-0 for Envy. Nameless able to fix that one out. So here we go on offense, Nameless on our screen. I gotta see what Parasite's doing though. He's 6-1 so far in this game for Envious. Yep, he's definitely the player to watch in this series. The Call of Duty Black Ops 2 world champion. Double Nate's going out and Merc just got picked, so the bomb picked up by Name was, and I was looking there, that is Saint who had an incredible snipe across that mid lane over to Parasite now as the action's about to go down at B. Still with Parasite on your screens, has two cursed players. Trying to put some shots down. He's done well to stay alive here. My yeah. dog in attach, trying to pinch him. He gets a pick, he has him weak, he gets the kill, three fights oh. to the left and Parasite. Just with that amazing intelligence, picks up two kills. Now can back off, they've got Envy now in a three on two situation. Saint and Miyagi up. Miyagi only one and three though. So this is looking very good for Team Envious now. Sneaky play, Miyagi got by the player there in post. Gonna get the bomb planter as well. Miyagi, another, and won't be able to get the third. One on one now for Saint versus Parasite. So, Saint again in a one versus one situation. He spotted Parasite running there, but I think Parasite's gonna be ready as well. Never knife, mind. Knife in your mouth, my friend. Yep. Just gave me a... Uh, 10 and 1. Is that good? I mean, you know, it, it's decent. It's decent. I feel like we're watching Fizzer version 2. So here we go. <laughs> a fantastic start for the new addition to this Envy lineup when they need them most. That's going to give Envy a 4-0 lead now in the search and destroy. As Saint on your screen. Your team Curse. Just see which way Curse are going to push it. Definitely going to be A. Oh man, four very players push aggressive it. push here. I feel like they needed this though, Pocket. They need to just switch things up and uh, do something a little bit maybe rash. See if it works for them, because what they've been doing right now just simply has not been working. Merc does pick up that kill though. On the defense, Ben Merc is doing it right. Oh, missing just wide right. Nameless is going to get that call out. Can he get the finish? Nameless pinched here. Study needs to help him. Nice job from Study. Nameless will get our final kill. And now a 5-0 beating is being thrown down on this Curse Orange squad. Yeah, this is the demolition of, of Curse right now. Envy in full control. And they're just looking so good in this search and destroy. You know, we said Parasite's playing well, but as well, Merc and Nameless have been, you know, doing pretty decent studies. One and four had a relatively quiet game, but you know, similar position to what we saw with Saint earlier on in the day. And where is Attach, man? Anything. When, I, he, when I he and Miyagi were going so big, what was the map? That, th it was this map. It was, it, was exactly. the same, it was the same map. But the big thing is, they went into the S&D winning that first map as well. Very different mentality when you go in after a, a win as opposed to going in after a loss. And you know, I, I've mentioned it a couple of times. Attach and Miyagi, both very young players. They don't have the, the most experience under the belt. And you know, going into a series and losing that first map is very, very tough. And that's where Mud Dog's going to become so important to try and keep his team composed. And right now, it just doesn't look like that's working. Bomb wants to go down at A. Miyagi setting up for it. Mud Dog now on the rotation, and it looks like we're going to see another kill being scored any moment by attach. So there we go. Three on one, or excuse me, four on one. Parasite, last man standing. I was going to say, but it is Parasite last alive. He's 10 and 2 right now. If he picks up. The no. I was going to say, that would have been ridiculous. How he's still alive, I have no idea, but fair play to him. Neo from the Matrix dodging bullets, but attach does jump around the corner, picks up that kill. That's the second of that round. And I mean, it's a 1-5, I hear the guy saying anything, anything is possible. possible. I mean, think back to uh, Full Sail with yep. the complexity at the time versus Optic Gaming. It was a 5-1 comeback there, I believe. 
Ridiculous stuff has been done before on an MLG main yep. stage. Can Curse Orange make it happen or will Envy close this one out? Parasite's been shut down in the last two rounds. I think that is going to be the key for them here. Out off the break, Mud Dog chucking his nades. Double stun, double frag. Both stuns are going to connect, so does the frag. And then you see that interesting, they get all those nades and, and hit markers. And it's almost as if they were trying to bait Envy out into thinking it was going to be an A push. And you see the cycle straight back to B. Now, can any of the Curse players get vision on Team Envious? That's the big question at this point. Free Fire comes in. And if Saint, oh, I was going to say, if Saint was to shoot there, he would find that kill and does find it. That was Merc. So now, Curse with the one man advantage. Saint just needs to stay alive here, needs to wait for his teammate support. And there it is from Mud Dog. He shuts down Study. One more play from Team Envious over at that gate side. But in goes a huge nade from Nameless. And that's going to shut down Mud Dog, who was trying to plant that bomb. So bomb not down. You're going to have Miyagi, Saint, and Attach all versus Parasite now. As Saint gets another one, bomb down, but here comes Parasite. Doesn't just matter. like that, Saint gets three. Did he get the ace? I think that was just three. I don't think he got the right. ace. Saint, if I, I missed your ace, I apologize. I'm showing at least one. And here is another one, <laughs> one more time. It was a good round, though, for, from Saint. Very, very important that he, he won that. And that's two rounds back to back, Curse. Gaining a little bit of momentum, but you have to remember now it's Envy is just one round away. Anything is possible, Benson. Anything is Anything possible. Anything is possible. That's what I'm Mud holding Dog was on to it. Here we go. Saint well. on your screen. He got an early pick a couple rounds ago that stopped the bomb movement, but now he seems more comfortable with the Remington. The bomb rotating to beat without a doubt here for Envy. And only one player set up to stop it right away. That's going to be attached. Yeah, attached needs to have a big round. Right here, he has Mud Dog there as well. They both put trophies down. Nameless does shut down Attach though, so already it's looking good Ooh. for Envy. Mud Dog peeks the corner and runs into Parasite with an LMG. The nades are going to be thrown, but more out of desperation than anything else there is two versus four. Envy looking set and ready to go 2 0 up in the series. And right beneath Miyagi is going to be a player to this right that'll be studied down low. Miyagi, does he check the corner? He does. Great play here, unfortunately. He just lost Saint, so Miyagi in a one on four. Grenade at his feet. Bowling ball frag, and he is simply out of time. Envy, so smart in this one. Unless Miyagi can do some kind of magical tornado kill, get all three of these players in one clip, not going to happen. He's going to get two. No. Nope. And that'll do it. Envious taking a 2 0 lead with a very impressive performance here on Warhawk. Yeah, very, very good. Now they're going over into that Blitz game, and they're just going to carry that momentum through. They, they were obviously a little bit annoyed they lost to Optic, so they want to try and get the, the game back on. And, you know, Curse just not up to par when it comes up against Team Envious, and you've got to give Envy some serious props. They're looking set and ready, as I said, to give 3-0 in this series. Especially Parasite there. He went 12-4 in, in game number two. So. Really solid play from Envy across the board in that search and destroy. It was Merc and Parasite who started off super hot. Both players with four kills without any deaths. After that, they simply kind of put on cruise control. Some great plays in a few of the later rounds by the young guys, Miyagi, Saint, and Mud Dog as well in the mix. However, it's not enough. We're going to have to see Curse Orange win the next three. Otherwise, they will be eliminated from the tournament. We'll see if they can do the first one with Blitz after this.